Welcome in everyone to another entity detection video. In today's video, I want to go ahead and talk about the difference between uh, this bad boy, the skulk sensor, and the standard puffer fish detection. So the skulk sensor is the new block that came out in 119, and a lot of people are super excited about it because it makes entity detection super, super easy. And you're right, it really does. But there are some drawbacks to it. So if we go ahead, we'll place down our skulk sensor and we'll put a redstone lamp next to it. So whenever it activates, you can see the light will turn on. The first thing to note is that if somebody is walking on wool, walking on the wool, it does not trigger. However, if they walk on grass or jump, you can see that it'll turn the light on. However, if somebody is sneaking, so crouching, they can crouch the whole way and it'll never detect them. So while it does make, you know, general entity detection easier, it does also have its drawbacks where it doesn't detect everything. Like you can practically stand on the thing and it won't even tell that you're there. Whereas a puffer fish detector, I've got this one here where it's sandwiched between on top of a skulk block. So you get the skulk sensor, but you also get the puffer fish. And as soon as we go into survival, you can see the puffer fish will inflate, it'll trigger the trap or the trip line, and the light will turn on. So essentially, they have two, like, they both have their advantages and disadvantages. The skulk sensor is really good at catching people who are trying to be fast. So, like, if somebody's trying to run through or, you know, isn't sneaking, the skulk sensor will catch them. However, if somebody is trying to sneak their way through, like if they're being slow and methodical, a puffer fish detector will have time to inflate and trigger. So you really, like, the best way to catch somebody 100% of the time is to have both of them, essentially. Which is where this little tiny device comes in. You can see uh, we've got a waterlogged skulk sensor, which will catch people trying to run through. But also you have the puffer fish in there with a trip line on top, where as soon as somebody's trying to sneak through, the puffer fish is going to inflate and it'll trigger. This one is super easy to set up. It's literally just a waterlogged skulk sensor. And then instead of the redstone lamp, you could do your output. Over here, we've got a standard puffer fish detector with a skulk sensor on top. So we've got our minecart with our puffer fish in there and our light weighted plant. And you can see we've got a dispenser here. Uh, you could replace this dispenser with any sort of block that makes any noise. Essentially what I'm doing is as soon as it gets triggered, it triggers the skulk sensor. So there's a couple easy ways just to combine the two so that you're able to connect or to catch everybody trying to get into your base, not just the people who are sprinting and not just the people who are creeping. So hopefully this helps you out. Uh, hopefully it explains a little bit of the differences between the two and you're able to maybe just go for an adapted version of either one of these where you have both available. So thank you so much for joining me today. Hopefully this helps you out. If not, drop a comment down below with any questions that you still have. Otherwise, I will catch you in the next one and 